there. Welcome to the Apollo Solar Water Heating Installation Online Training Part 3. In this video, we'll be showing the unboxing of the APIHP tank, important accessories needed for installation, and the on-roof kit. For demonstration purposes, we will be unboxing the APIHP 12 100 liter integrated high pressure tank and accessories. Please take note, all components used during installation of Apollo systems must be of an approved type and more specifically SABS approved where stipulated. The full package list that comes with the system are the 2-in-1 system frame for pitch and flat roof installation plus nuts and bolts. For more detail, please refer to the frame assembly video in the description below. Then we have the heat pipe vacuum tubes. And finally, the main tank. Please note, the 100 litre tank box will only contain one triangle box, while the larger models will contain two. The package list that comes with the tank includes the dust rings, IPX4 element cover, and the user manual. Then in the triangle box, they are the tube collector holders, the sensor pocket, not to be confused with the thermostat pocket, which is not included in the package kit, the anode, and the heat transfer cream. Important accessories that are compulsory for installation, but not included in the system packing list are vacuum breakers, thermostat, 2 kilowatt or 3 kilowatt element, thermostat pocket, tempering valve, insulation lagging, 400 kPa pressure control valve. Please note, a pressure control valve or relief valve must be installed along the cold water inlet pipe according to regulations. Other recommended accessories include a shutter valve or gate valve, on roof bracket hooks for pitch tiled roofs and geyser wire controller to maximize electricity savings. To simplify installations for our customers, we at Apollo have devised a plug and play solution called the on roof kit, which greatly reduces room for error during installations. It includes vacuum breakers, tempering valve, shuttle valve, copper piping and brass fittings. We will now be running through the standard plumbing installation model using the on-roof kit as previously mentioned for demo purposes. Please keep in mind not all accessories mentioned are included as part of the on-roof kit. Vacuum breakers. Vacuum breakers must be situated at the highest point of the installation, preferably a minimum of 30 cm above the geyser tank 
and around 30 cm horizontally away from the cold and hot water inlets and outlets. Tempering Valve Stipulated in SANS regulations that in order for a plumbing certificate of compliance, a COC, to be issued, a mixing or tempering valve must be installed before the hot water enters into the household. 400 kPa Pressure Control Valve Apollo Solar Geysers are rated 400 kPa. Therefore, a 400 kPa pressure control valve or relief valve must be installed along the cold water inlet pipe feeding towards the geyser. Shut-off valve or gate valve Should a shut-off valve or gate valve be installed, it must be installed before the pressure control valve per SANS regulations. A brass 22mm male connex fitting will connect the on-roof plumbing kit to the hot water outlet. Please take note, on a 100 litre system, this will be a 15mm male connex fitting. Take care to not install the vacuum breakers directly above the hot water outlet. Also, it is recommended to use hemp rather than PTFE tape around this thread. Safety valve or TP valve. Please take note to install a drain pipe of at least 30 cm long leading away from the TP valve or safety valve. If a drain pipe is not installed, this could affect the limited warranty of your system. Thermostat. The thermostat is inserted into the thermostat pocket which must have hemp wrapped around its thread even if a gasket is used. Note. If a geyser-wise controller is being installed with the system, the geyser-wise thermostat can slip into the sensor pocket which is provided inside the triangle box found in the hot water tank box. In this case, a separate thermostat pocket is not needed. Element Standard boss element from Satchwell can be used. Take note that the thread must have hemp wrapped around it even when a gasket is used. Ensure that the element is securely fastened so no water can seep out, but be careful not to over tighten as when it expands due to the hot water, it can cause the side cover to crack. Cold water inlet. A three quarter inch male drain cock will be installed on the cold water inlet side and must have PTFE tape or hemp wrapped around the thread before installing. When draining the geyser, ensure a hose is attached to the drain cock which leads to the gutter as to avoid injuries from the hot water being expelled. In the next video, we will be going through some plumbing tips and installation instructions related specifically to the high pressure tank installation. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.